Hey, it's James Taylor here. I want to talk to you about understanding your creative clock. You see, as creatives at different points in the day, our creativity levels will ebb and flow. At some point in the day, you're going to feel at your creative best, other times, less so. So it's important that you understand for you personally when you are at your highest creative power. Some people, that's going to be in the morning. A lot of entrepreneurs I know, they get their best ideas and are able to develop their ideas and think deeply about something in the mornings. For a lot of authors I know, it's kind of in the afternoons. They'll do other things in the morning and then in the afternoons is their, is their writing time. For a lot of musicians, it's the wee small hours. That's when they're at their, their creative powers are at their highest. So the point is there's no one way. There's no one time for, for everyone. Everyone has a slightly different time of day when they feel at their creative peak. So you need to understand for you when that time is. And then what you need to do is to craft your day around that. So if you're at your cre creative best in the mornings, that's when you develop your, your best ideas, that's where you're just kind of most active in that way, then maybe do all your calls and your emails and your social media in the afternoons. And so you've got that morning free to do the creative work. Now, once you've done that, after a few years of doing creative work, especially as you start to develop mastery in whatever your creative pursuit is, you're gonna start moving from this idea of peak creativity to high creativity. You see, as I mentioned, those times a day, we get these peaks of, of levels of creativity. But over time, you're gonna to have to start developing creative thinking skills in order to develop a higher base level of creativity and also to be able to at will generate those new ideas. Now, it's, you know, there's this idea that inspiration is for amateurs, and that really goes to this idea where if you're really committed to doing your creative work, you have to develop the, the skills and the strategy and the creative thinking skills to be able to, at, on call, generate these new ideas. It's not something that's easy to do at first. At first, you're gonna feel very much at the captive at the time of the day that you are at your creative best, and that's fine. So you, at that point, you wanna just kind of schedule things around to work best to that. But as you develop your creative powers, you are going to reach this next stage. You're gonna go up a gear. You're gonna go from thinking about it in terms of peak creativity, at certain points of the day, to high levels of creativity. So if you're watching this just now and you haven't even kind of started in this first part, think about for yourself, when are those times of the day for you where you are your creative best? Hi, it's James here. Did you enjoy that episode? If so, there's two things that we can do to continue the journey together. Firstly, I would love if you were to subscribe, give us five stars and leave a comment. Secondly, if you go to jamestaylor.me and enter your name and email address, I'm going to send you some free goodies all around creativity and innovation. Look forward to continuing the journey together.